So before we start, you might be having a couple of questions, one of which might be, why does it sound like there's a goddamn jet engine going on in your background, Bob? Well, the reason for that, my dear viewers, is because since I happen to live in Arizona, it's been, uh, whew, today's been quite warm, and quite warm as in my room has been a solid 90 degrees all day today, and I have not been able to lower that. So as a result, I have like three fans going on here to help, try to help supplement that, but sadly to, uh, not much avail, so... Anyway, what's going on to do is welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, the, uh, the Bob's having a shit day version. Anyway, so, since we left off, Majin Vegeta is kind of going to go boom, and, um, actually, I went back and rewatched a scene from, uh, a couple of scenes from, from the anime, actually, and I, I give Gohan a lot of shit in the Boo Saga because Toriyama does not know how to write his characters that aren't named Goku, and, well, and Vegeta. Actually, just Goku. Actually, no, just Vegeta. Oh, uh, it's it's uh, late, but anyway, I will give Gohan crap for one thing. He did um right before the scene where this happens, where um Boo is like in the process of being about to hatch, and Gohan for like the span of like ten seconds grew like the biggest pair of brass balls in the universe. It was amazing. It was super good to look at. It was super cool to watch. But unfortunately, he, get, he, went, he got nuked, but for just an um, iota of a fraction of a second, the old Gohan that we all know and love returned, and it was fucking amazing. But sadly, those days are behind us, and by the way, there's a look at where the bar actually got turned into a cookie, not a cupcake, but yeah, who, really, who, who's counting at this point? Anyway, so it's like 9 o'clock, where I'm fucking recording. And unfortunately, my, my school schedule was all sorts of screwy, so I've been going to school at like 5 in the morning. Now I'm like, wake up at like 4.30 in the morning, so I have to wake up in like 7 hours. I don't know why I'm recording this right now, but motherfucker, I'm going to do this. Because this is Drag Ball Z, and I'm not going to skimp on this shit. Anyway, so, oh my god, cheap shots. <laughs> uh, all we're starting with that shit, huh? And if I'm not mistaken, if I can just barely hear the audio... Yep, the old uh, fucking song's back from. God damn it. God damn it, the song from the Bobbity Spaceship is, uh, is back upon us. It's back with us. And it's here to stay for the rest of this, unfortunately. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can turn you into a, like a piece of. He can use the chalk beam on you. He'll, he'll like do something. Anyway, so this fight is actually kind of unique because the trick is you actually have to bring down Bobbity. Uh. Sometimes uh, Majin Buu right now is completely invincible. Like you cannot hit him whatsoever. So to so so in order to actually hit him, actually before I keep going, let me make sure. Yes, I have good shit equipped. I have something explaining to do. Off screen, I was actually doing some test recording, to make sure my computer was not going to fuck up the recording. So as a result, I have been off screen grinding like a motherfucker. Uh, boot. He's stunned now. Unfortunately, I cannot hit him with too much because. Apparently, Super Saiyan sucks with Majin Vegeta. Actually, Majin Vegeta is just not very good for energy management whatsoever. I mean, granted, he does have infinite Super Saiyan. That's fantastic. But, you know, it's just the fact that, you know, you can't regenerate energy naturally with uh, Vegeta. That's kind of a problem. Then again, okay, so off screen, I have been doing a shitload of grinding. As you can barely hear me over my jet engine of the fans in the background. Um, I've kind of gotten to, like, 23 levels off screen while I was... Testing footage, making sure my script, nothing was gonna fuck up while I was recording today. So, is there a way to like match buttons to get out of this faster? Nah, I, I don't want to make sure I don't get even my boo, by the way. Anyway, so this fight's kind of, oh yeah, that's right. So, I kind of dumped all my energy or all my sap points into a uh, fucking level, um, basically just energy. I want to make sure my uh, attacks hit like a motherfucker, and there's a couple good reasons why. And... I, oh, wait, my energy does regenerate naturally. Huh, that's actually kind of nice. Well, it's a little bit, but it's not going to do too much. I can't use Big Bang Attack. God damn it. Can't be used basically my favorite attack in the show. Uh, well, maybe some other day. Actually, I could use it right now. To do, like, no damage. Anyway. Tubby here is taking quite a bit of damage. I think the Brass Knuckles I have equipped actually raised my attack a little bit. I'm pretty sure. Also, sadly, there's no way to bring down Bobby out of the air faster than when he's in the air. I've tried. A lot. You have to wait. Sadly. Also, I imagine I this is like the first game I'm doing that I haven't looked up a guy for whatsoever. I'm kind of I'm doing this entirely off what I've learned the game, and trust me, it's hard. Anyway, just chilling here, wink. There he is. Hit him once, he's stunned. 
and just go to town wa wailing on this giant je jello motherfucker. There we go. I really can't think of anything clever. I was just like, hey, he's made of jello. Yeah, that's all I got. By the way, they're back. So yeah. I've been having a pretty shitty day. I figured I've been having a pretty shitty week in general, so uh, my laptop's been fucked up on me a lot of recordings. Luckily, this game has not uh, crossed your fingers fucked up on me yet. Um, I've been I'm I'm currently in the middle of a rush of going back to school, and boy, my schedule waking up at four thirty in the morning has made me basically comatose every time I come back from home. I I'm just like dead. I, I've never really gone to sleep five at five in the afternoon uh, so many times in my life it's fucked up also yeah this is like the one time where Vegeta's played up as a credible melee fighter it's actually pretty cool well I guess besides you know the Kui fight but or Pui Pui fight yeah yeah it's pretty cool that they always play a Maj Vegeta as being more of a melee fighter though I always like that hmm <laughs> ooh descriptive uh, boots destroy you. Uh, boots kind of take like a little R and R right now after getting super kicked in the face. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. It totally chopped him in half. So we will not illustrate it here in size, but this is not gonna be the last time in this arc that Bobby's gonna be feeling a little, shall we say, lightheaded. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Maj Vegeta's out of Super Saiyan now. Weird. He doesn't have the Maj he doesn't have the Majin Vegeta logo on him anymore. Interesting. Majin Vegeta. Majin Seal. My bad. But anyway, oh boy, guys, this is legit. As I said before, I'm a really like hardened dude. Uh, oh my god, this scene actually does get like a shitload of tears at me at me every time. It's fucking adorable. It's sad shit to watch because you know that Vegeta's yeah. I mean, this is one of the factor reasons why Vegeta is always one of my favorite characters. He fucking grows as a character, like, all the time, and knocked out. Sadly, uh, Goro tends to get a punch in the gut. Yeah, it's like a two go over two one for him. Anyway. Seriously, it's weird I'm not in Majin form anymore. In fact, I won't be. I might actually go blow up while running regular form. Sort of what made base Vegeta a lot more usable, but anyway. Uh, here we go. Pfft. Oh, now he has one more thing to ask. Uh, trust me, you're not even going to be here for like five minutes. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. Vegeta already died once. Why is he asking this question now? Uh, this is kind of false because both Frieza and Cell managed to keep their bodies for some apparent reason, but Vegeta, who's actually done more good than them, doesn't? Uh, alright, sure. Again, it's totally relevant since when Goku goes back to the other world, he's kind of just like goes immediately to the Supreme Kai's world. Vegeta is just always off screen and we always see him in like the Fusion Reborn movie. So, you know what? What the hell ever. Seriously, why is Mo Vegeta in base form now? He doesn't have the Majin Steel anymore. Actually, to be fair, if that had fucking happened in the show, that would have been really cool. But, I don't know. I guess it was better to keep the stamp on him. <laughs> stamp. I can never get over that. So, Vegeta, knowing that he doesn't have enough energy output to do on his own in order to put down Boo, and he's gonna blow himself up. Hopefully, override the crazy regeneration that Boo has. Sadly, uh, Boo's regeneration, shall we say, is a little more substantial than um, Cell's. But just, just a hair, just a hair, just, just a hair. Enough so he can basically re revive from Ams, but you know, just, just a hair. Yep, totally want the kingdom come. They might think this is going to mean we can play Piccolo, but no. Oh my god, this is a touching scene. And what are we doing? We're playing the fucking Boo song. We're playing the goddamn Bobby song again. <sighs> Couldn't even play like the Vegeta Sacrifice theme to like, you know, play up the atmosphere greatly. Actually, to be fair, um, Vegeta's Atonement is like legitimately one of the best songs in the entire soundtrack. It's so goddamn atmospheric. It's beautiful. On top of the fact that it plays in like some Vegeta's crowning moments in the entire show. It's great. Actually, no, it just plays in some of the best moments in the show, period. So anyway, Boo's kind of gone to hell. Or not. Yeah, hey, you know, it could always be. We're all wrong once in a while. Uh, granted, Vegeta blooms out the kingdom come and uh, 
Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so... Okay, Majin Buu's gimmick. He can regenerate. A lot. I say it's Buu's gimmick because that's literally all his... Oh, God, that's one of the big problems I do have with Majin Buu. His only threat is his ability to regenerate. That's the only thing that makes it a substantial threat. Like, literally, the opponent could be, like, completely dominating him in a completely one-side battle, but Buu would just keep regenerating, seemingly without, it, without, without limit. But... But... Dragon Ball. Pfft. Chapter 6, Dragon Ball. Um, I think that was like a few years ago. Eh. Oh, hey, Goku's up. Pfft. Maybe he just knocked out long enough for that to happen. You know, oh, man. This, this show plays up the um, power level so goddamn weird because, you know, we're, we're sometimes, um, I'm just gonna acknowledge it for this. Okay, so like, Perfect Form Cell, or no, um, actually, no, Perfect Form Cell. Perfect Form Cell can be taken hits from like super ascended Super Saiyan trunks like all the way around him, and be taking hits from Krillin at the same time, and he could not even flinch. And granted, I know at that time like base form Super Saiyan trunks wasn't like gonna hit that hard, but but he was like he was still just a transformation away from actually doing something. You know, his daddy only hit him once, but it still made him move a little. So you mean to tell me that if someone's like a transformation to higher than someone else? They're good. They're not gonna flinch like in a slice, or they're barely gonna flinch. Meanwhile, Su Goku here is gonna turn around and actually get like completely knocked the fuck out by Vegeta uh, when Goku has access to Super Saiyan three. And I'm pretty sure it's much stronger than Vegeta in base form. Well, probably not by much. I I'm definitely one bet he was holding back against him while he he himself was Super Saiyan two. I bet you. And what the hell am I doing? Uh, anyway, so I'll play as Goku again. 84. Eh, that's not too, not too terrible. I did level up a few times in that fight. Oh, man. What do I pop energy in? Or, <laughs> energy. Points in. Uh, I guess I... Well, I don't want my power to suck too much. I'd much rather... I'd like to have a command man that can actually do something, so I guess I'll do that. But then again, I have... Uh, I'm not gonna have Vegeta accessible again for, like, a good... I want to say two, three hours. I want to be generous and say that much. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I am chock full of mac and cheese and lemonade right now. Ugh. I've had better frames of mind, people. Don't worry. Actually, I should probably not be recording this game right now because A, technology failures, and B, it's 9 o'clock at night. I'm full of food, and I'm cranky as hell. But you know what? There's no better time to record right in this right now. Ugh. So... Gohan's all, all we have left is Goku, who has like maybe a couple hours left under his belt. Gohan's uh, assumedly dead. Vegeta definitely blew himself the kingdom come. So, Z Fire's options looking mildly limited. Majibu's power to get level continues to increase. Uh, he's not Broly, so not really. He's just he's just able to access more of his powers the more he he like fights. He's like um, oh man, I I do like how they play up. Um. The different forms of Boo as like different stages of like, um, uh, fuck, of like states of mind. Like, Majin Boo is basically like not not really like a toddler, but he's like a little kid. Super Boo is definitely like a like a late teenager of some kind, and Kid Boo is just like I'm not really sure. It's definitely like lower than Kid Boo, or no, well that'd be weird. Lower lower than Majin Boo in terms of like, um, sentience. Like, Kid Buu kind of just, like, goes around fucks people up, has literally no filter. Majibu is just kind of there to, like, ha fuck around. And Super Buu is definitely has, like, the brains that actually handle shit. So, I've always kind of liked that, but I've also always felt like it kind of just fell on its face. Because, while Kid Buu's, like, innocence can't, is definitely played up as, like, a threat of some sorts. Um, Super Buu, I've always felt was, like, the best thing that came out of the Buu saga, you know, besides Janemba. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, reveal that yet though. Anyway, uh, did we just cover? I wasn't paying attention to the text. Did we just cover speeding three. Oh no, oops. Oh, we're talking about. Oh, now we're talking about fusion. Okay. <laughs> not strong enough to perform. There is no energy requirement to do fusion. You just gotta have the right power level to be able to do it, and you're fine. This is where they awake. Also, I just I noticed earlier that their character background portraits are are green. 
don't know what the deal with that is, because Gohan and Goku's are blue. Um, Vegeta's is... I don't remember. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Actually, I think there's a few things that they cover Majin Vegeta. Um, Majin Vegeta is actually really unique, because when you use him, he's the only time you can play as a Super Saiyan on the overworld. That's, um, except for one character that's, like, way later, but we'll talk about him later. Ha! <laughs> Built a character. Oh boy, so here's Dragon Ball Bulma and find Dragon Balls. Now, okay, son, what? I don't, oh, fuck you! I already got that. You're you're messing with me now. God damn it! So, um, oh boy, I'm nervous. Save me now. If technology fucks, then playthrough's dead. Shit. Or at least it's gonna be highly delayed for a good while. But anyway, so, um, hmm. Dra quest for Dragon Balls in this game. God, I, I am like, I should not be recording games this late, but fuck it. Anyway, so gotta get the Dragon Radar, and then going on quest for Dragon Balls. I take some strong issues with the Dragon Ball quest in this game. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of it. Actually, it's because oh, up here. Okay, so, um, I, I do take a lot of issues with this because remember how I said there's a lacking of, um, icons in the old world? That's definitely going to become a big problem when you're fighting your Dragon Balls. Luckily for me, I know I could probably like five of their locations offhand. Eh, something like that. I know where a few of them are. One's in, okay, I'm just going to see if I can recall them off the top of my head. Thieves' Den, at Forest, um, I think there's one, am I on top of one? Oh yeah, that's right, Diablo Desert. Okay, so there's one here. And unfortunately... Uh... Uh... Level 50? Or level 80? What, pray what, tell what level I am. 75! Actually, that's no, not, not, not too terrible. So, oh uh, boy. So, um... You said how I said that... You know how... Remember how I said that thing earlier was an issue? With how, um... Oh shit, it's right here, isn't it? There is a uh, lot of exploration behind this game, or there's a lot of level doors. Yeah, this is gonna be the primary reason why. It, or this is gonna be a big problem as to why it is. So level 80. Looks like that's staying consistent across the board. Uh, mostly. Hercule City. I don't think there's one there. I do know, know there's one definitely down south. It is over here. Yeah, Thieves Den. I think that's what it's called, right? Should be. I mean, I mean, it'd be weird if it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, Thieves Den. Oh my god, the slow down on the game when you start turning around. Alright, level 80. I'm noticing a pattern. I'm going to go fix this. Alright, I should probably just, like, get Trunks a little bit and start cranking out his places. But, eh, you know what? I'm 18 minutes into this. Alright, so I'll be right back. Off screen, I'm gonna grind myself to level 80. And I feel like I should have got a lot more done in this part, but unfortunately. Not too much, so um, I'll be back in a sec, guys.